Good morning. In my opinion, one of the most important things that a quote-unquote content creator can do is empower people. Give them the ability to be able to lead themselves. Don't put them in a situation where they're constantly needing to come to you for leadership. Make it so that they are the leaders. So, I've always followed that logic as long as I can remember, whether it's on social media or whether it's in real life, right in front of my face, people that are, are a part of my life. I, I believe in empowerment. I don't believe in tearing down because that's not how you get anywhere. Sure, you might make some small advancements on the personal level, but how much damage did you do around you in the process and how is that damage going to come back to haunt you? So, different subject, different time. We're going to talk about solar power generation. Now, there is somebody that I've been back and forth on YouTube for a little while now. There is a reason why. Because the guy is not very bright at all. And I'm going to show you this. I'm actually going to show you hard proof of just how foolish and stupid this guy is when it comes to solar power. I don't want you to make the mistakes that he made, okay? And he's not got enough integrity to come out and say, okay, yeah, this was a stupid idea. I can't help that it was a stupid idea. All I can do is point it out so that other people don't make the same mistake. And that's all I am trying to do. This video is not about myself. This video is not about this jackass, okay? This video is about you and empowering you to make better decisions than what he did, okay? So I'm talking about my favorite channel, Pinball Preparedness. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting his, his channel up on the screen. Pinball, go ahead. Hit me with a copyright strike. Hit me with a copyright strike for, for me posting that like you hit me with the copyright strike for posting the uh, screenshot of a video that you had go ahead let's see what happens let's see what happens this time go ahead hit me with that strike brother tell me what happens when uh, when you get done so anyway that guy is such a jackass <coughs> he had made a video and I don't even remember what it was titled. Oh, it's right here. One week off grid. Yeah, I do watch this content. You know why I watch this content? <laughs> because you poke the bear. And that bear is going to poke back. Plain and simple. I'll tell you what. This guy is actually more comic relief than anything. However... The video I'm referring to is this one here. One week off grid was going solar a smart decision. Now, the funny thing is, is he came out with this video here. And uh, this dude is such a hypocrite. It's unreal. Let's get to the solar. Let's stick to the solar. So I didn't watch the entirety of this video. Uh, I caught the beginning of it. And that gave me enough information and should have given you enough information to know just how dumb this guy is when it comes to solar power. In the video, he went through a list of devices that he has purchased and, and some that were, were sent to him. Fair enough. I'm not, I'm not going to come down on that or that's not what this is about. What I will say is that the only ones that I have written down here are what he said he bought. I don't even have figured in the stuff that he was given, which in order for this to be accurate, you would have to include that stuff too. I want to make it clear. I don't even have that included here. Okay? So what I'm showing you is going to be uh, compounded a couple of times over if you do all the math. So in this video, he had stated that he had purchased a Delta Pro. That's $2,999. Delta Pro batteries. He said he had four of them. Those are $199 or $1,999 a piece. $2,000 a piece. So four of those comes out to $7,996.
Set, he, I know he mentioned two Delta 1300s. That's my favorite model. Um, that's what I've got a Delta 1300. I know he's mentioned that he had two of them. So that's all I've got wrote down here. Uh, those are $899 a piece for a total of $1,798 for those. He said he has a Delta Pro Max, I believe it was. That's $1,599 and a smart panel, which is $900. And ninety-nine dollars. Now that comes to a grand total of fifteen thousand three hundred and ninety-one dollars. Now, that does not include. He mentioned that he has a Delta Pro Ultra that was sent to him for testing and and evaluation. Fair enough, but that's fifty-eight hundred bucks right there. That is fifty-eight hundred bucks that he's using in the system he told you about that I do not even have in this figure. Okay, and there's other other devices too that he mentioned that he was sent that I do not have in this figure. The the what I have in this figure is what he said that he had paid for. Why he did that I don't know because all of it is relevant in this this situation. But we're just going to go with the 15391 because, hell, that's a hoot as it is. <clears throat> that's a lot of money, folks. That's a whole lot of money. And for what he got, and, you know, he, he, he's he got a fluster cluck, or a fuster cluck. That's what he's got. He's got a fuster cluck. He's got a bunch of parts and pieces cobbled together, hoping that he's going to be able to provide himself with emergency power. Good luck. Good luck with that smart panel, too. <laughs> the one thing you know about a smart panel, that the person who bought it didn't vary. So anyway, um, kind of like the smart car, right? Not much, not much difference there. <laughs> so let me show you what a better alternative would be. Last night during the live show, I brought up Renegy's website. They were actually out of stock of the unit I was trying to show you. And getting the actual nitty-gritty numbers was a little bit fun to come across. Um, but I also showed Ames's website last night and was shocked at what they have going on right now. That's what I want to bring to your attention, Okay. So under solar products, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with um, solar, not charge controllers. Sorry, I wanted uh, power inverters. Here we go, off grid inverters. <clears throat> and we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna go right down to the big one, right here, or a big one. I don't know if it's their biggest. Here is a ten thousand watt pure sine wave inverter charger. 48 volt input and the better the higher the voltage input like your battery bank the better off you are the more efficient your system is going to be so 48 volt system is a really good system 240 uh, volts AC input that is what you could put into it to recharge your battery bank if you wanted to and 120 of course and it's also got 240 um, fa split phase output in other words your dryer your your uh, electric stove, whatever you have that's 220 in your home that you need something stout for, this is going to be able to handle it, okay? So, you're going to be good with this. Now, you may be able to stack these units, use more than one unit. I don't know. You would have to look to see if you can. Um, <clears throat> but this, as it is, is good for uh, 10,000 watts of continuous power and 30,000 watts of surge, okay? So, this will cover 30,000 watts of surge, but a continuous 10,000 watts is what this will cover. Now, you might be able to hook it up to another unit uh, and, and increase the capability. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I didn't look into it, but you're talking $3,782 to have the power inverter part of the equation, okay? 10,000 watt, pure sine wave, 240 volt split phase. Come on now. Come on now. Now, you're going to need a way to charge your, your battery bank, right? So, um, you got solar charge controllers that you're going to need, and he happens to have... Um, 
they happen to have. Ames happens to have a nice one here. 100 amp unit. Of course, it'll work with 12, 24, 36, or 48 volt systems, okay? 539 bucks. 539 bucks. Pretty sweet. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Looks like a good unit. And that's your charge controller. That's your power inverter. And if you wanted to look at batteries, for example, you want to go lithium. Um, right here, they've got some uh, 200 amp hour, 12 volt, LiPo 4 batteries with Bluetooth uh, capability. 749 bucks a piece. So you would have to have four of these because they're 12 volt and your system would be 48 volts. So at a bare minimum, you would need four of those. Okay, but even then, let's do the math here. And I know I don't have a cock. I actually could bring one up. Hang on. Bring it up like this here. So those are 749. So let's do that. 749 times four and then uh, we're going to add that to oops not the eco flow stuff the solar charge controller that was 539 and then we have the um, oops wrong page again The inverter, which is thirty-seven eighty-two, okay. And let's just for for fun of it, do they have uh, panels? Yeah. And I mean, you can get different parts from different sources. You don't have to get everything from the exact same company. Yeah, you know, if they're going to give you a good benefit for it, why not? Go for it. But if they're not, mm, you know, that'd be the only reason why uh, I would go go crazy with it. So, um, right here, you could go with uh, the 190-watt panels. You could go with a six-pack of them. Um, mm, Hang on, let me pull up my own little calculator in the back end here, so I don't mess with my other numbers. Um, yeah, that's 1,100 watts. So let's say two of those. So you're talking, let's just say $4,000. Let's just add $4,000, okay? Oops. How do I just go back one? Can I just go back one? Oh, I bet I can with my keyboard. There we go. Um, plus 4,000. And let's go ahead and get that number. So you're looking at $11,317. Okay, and that's with <clears throat> that's with roughly uh, 2,400 watts of solar power. So this is panels too. For that number, for $11,317, you're talking the panels too, which wasn't included in his, right? You're talking the panels, you're talking about the power inverter, you're talking about the solar charge controller, right? That way outdoes the system that he's got going on. I mean, way outdoes his system. And it's not about being a bigger thing contest. That's not what it's about. It's about knowing what you're doing, doing it right the first time. And why? I don't know why these people get on YouTube... And they think they learn a little thing about something and then they jump on YouTube and, and cover a video on it uh, like they're all-knowing and, and 
all-encompassing of anything good that could ever be of whatever it is that they're talking about. It's mind-blowing. It is absolutely mind-blowing, the dipshittery that goes on. Um, and, yeah, a lot of it right here on the YouTubes. And, unfortunately, there's a whole lot of it in the whole prepper genre thing. You got people that have spent two minutes doing something, and the next thing you know, they're making a video on everything you need to know about it. It's crazy. I don't, I don't get it. Don't listen to people like Pinball Preparedness when it comes to your solar needs. Don't, don't do it. The guy is, it could screw up a wet dream. And from my understanding, from people that's reached out, he's been that way his entire life. And he never, he never looks back at the damage that he causes. He just keeps rolling forward, causing more and more damage everywhere he goes. That's what it is. Don't let him cost you. Don't let him cost you. I gave you the numbers I showed you between the content he included uh, in that video that I had pointed out in the beginning. Uh, one week off grid was going solar a smart decision with what he covered in that video. Um, I gave you the numbers that I could get for that. And then I showed you the numbers of... of doing it the smart way, how you would save so much money and have so much of a better system. But this is the guy running around calling everybody else stupid. This is the guy running around telling everybody else how they're lazy because they won't look stuff up and they won't do this or they won't do that. This is why I keep calling that man out. Because he consistently does this. The video today he talked about freedom of speech and all that stuff and uh, people's right to defend themselves, right? And he, he, he mentioned at the end of the video about how he believes that uh, he shouldn't start a fight, but you're supposed to finish it. Well, when he called me stupid because I wanted to use glass panels with my solar generator because he didn't know better, he started a fight. And I am still waiting for him to let me finish that fight. He won't do it. He won't show his face. Why won't he show his face? Because he knows he's going to get his, his ass stomped. He knows it. He knows it. The same is true for a lot of the people that he constantly insults on the daily. He talks a big game. He talks about finishing fights, but he doesn't finish them. He starts them and then runs like a little girl when people address them. Sends them copyright strikes. Sets there and, and completely gaslights people that he started shit with. Kenneth Patrika, you are a liar. You are a hypocrite. And you are stupid. 